What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we're gonna be doing the official review of this 2022 Indian Scout Rogue right here. So I've had this bike for quite a few days right now, and I've been putting a few miles on it. I've been home from work all week, so this has been my uh, my go-to bike this past week. It's fun, man. It's 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 fun. I am actually pretty surprised at my feelings towards this bike right now um i didn't think and honestly speaking i didn't think that i was gonna like it as much just due to the my previous experience that i've had with the um the other scouts in the past um which we'll get into in more depth in the video as we review the bike um so if you guys saw my first video the other day well my second video on it was my first time uh, impression on it um first time on the bike <clears throat> really just going out there and getting the real feel for it since then i've had you know been on the bike quite a few more times as well and every it seems like every time i get on the bike i i i, I like it a bit more and more and more it's 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 a it's fun it's a little addicting so today what we're gonna do is that we're gonna review the bike we're gonna take a walk around it go over all the little things that you guys that know want to know about the bike and everything that makes this different from the uh, regular scout um and then we're gonna take it on the road um and then finish talking about the bike and um feel and just everything else you want to know about it so the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue right here. Let's really quick go over everything that makes the Rogue the Rogue. Everything that's gonna make this bike special and stand out and just uh, separate it from the regular Scout that we all know, right? So we're gonna start with the obvious, the most, the, the, the front of the bike. This is what makes the Rogue the Rogue, right? So we're gonna start with this fairing right here, which is a small fairing, but Honestly speaking, it does keep off a lot of that air from your chest, which is what you want when you're putting on any type of fairing on the bike. Um, we all know that riding a bike without any fairings, me personally, I'm just not a fan of it. I like to have a fairing in front of my bike. It keeps the wind off my chest. It doesn't fatigue me as much on those rides when you're going to be out there all day. Um, and it, it, it just allows you to enjoy the ride a bit more makes a bike look a lot more cooler like this right here so i thought that this beautiful design fairing right here it's really nice small nothing too big um but it, it, it does the job i didn't think it was gonna do as well in the wind but it, it does really well so obviously this is gonna be different um the regular scout does not have this fairing this is only for the road so uh, big plus with that. Um, going down, we got that 19 inch front wheel. So as we know, the regular Scout has a 16 inch front wheel, 16 inch rear wheel in the back. This one has the 19 in the front and the 16 in the back. Um, I honestly hated that wheel on the Scout. It's fat, short, stubby. It didn't allow for me to maneuver the Scout that much, but with this 19 inch wheel, it does that. I get that from that. I, you know, the bike feels more nimble. I'm ready. I'm able to take it around corners a bit more. Um, the tires are super sticky as well. I don't know what type of tires they're using. Metzler tires, um, they're really sticky. I, I, I like them. I really do like them. Now, making our way to the center right here, the engine, the motor, everything, everything's super blacked out. So as we've seen before, um, India started blacking out a lot of their components, but on this bike, they literally went and blacked everything out, which in my opinion, I think it looks a lot more better, just cleaner, better, just makes the bike look a bit more raw. Um, we all know that, you know, uh, when it comes to black components, people either want all black components or just all chrome. So the mix of the, the black and some finishes that weren't blacked out before, just, I don't know, just, it looked a little off before. Um, so this is really, 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 really cool. Um, now, we'll make our way back to also this seat right here. Gel padding feels amazing. Um, not to say it's the seat that you want to spend, let's say a 300 mile ride or whatnot, but this is way, way better than the stock seat you're gonna find on the regular Rogue. Um, it sits you really, really comfortable. It does feel a bit narrow right here in the front. I wish this was uh, a bit wider. And, and, and maybe if this, little lump right here will kind of be set back a bit more and be a bit more comfortable um, for, for, for what it is and compared to the stock seat on the uh, 
regular scout, this is really, really nice. It, it's, it's comfortable. It's like, for what, if you're gonna want this bike for a ride of town or maybe you're a daily commuter, you're not going too far, it, you're, you're gonna be pretty happy on this seat. I really like it. Um, now, this is something different that's on this bike that's obviously you're not gonna find on any of the Scout because this is only an accessory, but the exposed piggyback uh, suspension right here, fully adjustable, amazing, I love it. I, I need to be honest, I'm sorry, but the suspension on the Scouts and the suspension on the Chiefs, like, I'm not a fan of. I, it's, it's really, really hard. You really feel those bumps everywhere. Um, I'm sorry, Indian, that the suspension, you guys need to do something about that suspension on those bikes because it's, it's horrible, man. But this, you can buy this from the Indian Accessory Catalog. This does a huge, huge difference, man. Even getting on my uh, low rider yesterday, so you guys know I do have a low rider S. Um, the mono shock on there is pretty good, but this suspension honestly felt better than the mono shock on the uh, on my low rider S. And and honestly, I, I don't really complain about that mono shock too much because it, it it feels it feels good. Um, but th this feels good. So this is gonna feel like you know, let, let's say like a legends. Um, you're gonna have the capability of fully adjusting like a Legends or Olings or any of those other companies out there. So Really really big fan of these. So in the end, thank you so much for sending this bike out with these reservoirs on it because Yeah, it's it's awesome. So those are the big big huge changes when it comes to Making this bike different. Well, I almost forgot one 10 inch mini apes right here obviously we all know that the the scout um, has those low bars and being that this bike has four controls you're kind of like I'll show you guys on it um, you're kind of hunched over like this so if you're sitting on the bike you're kind of like this and it's not a it's not a comfortable position I that's why I, I wasn't a huge fan of the, the Scout because it's not a comfortable bike it looks super cool it looks raw it looks very it looks like you're a, you're American cruiser right but Comfortable? No, I'm sorry. No, and especially with that tire in the front. It just wasn't working out for me. This 10 inch apes right here, which comes on the um, Scout Bobber. Um, these are really comfortable. So I have a slight bend to my elbow right here. And I'm a shorter guy. I'm 5'7". So for you shorter uh, guys out there, or even uh, shorter gals out there, um, you guys are going to be really, really comfortable on here. Even with the four controls. Me personally, I'm a fan of mid controls. Not so much four controls, but... These are kind of like, they're, they're not that poor, they're gonna push back a bit, so they're really comfortable. So with the mini apes up here, the uh, controls right there, it's a real comfortable ride. The ergonomics are really good, so I'll, I'll give it to them for that. So those are all the huge, huge changes that make this Rogue, the Rogue, uh, different from the, uh, the regular Scout out there. I understand now. I, at first, I, I just didn't understand why are we put in a fairing on this and changing the way of calling it Rogue. I understand now, Indian, so <laughs> quite happy with that. Um, let's just finish reviewing the bike. So let's talk about your powertrain real quick. So this bike is going to have 1333 cc's right there. So 1,333 cc engine on this bike, 100 horsepower and about 74 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it is peppy. Um, it is liquid cooled, so you're gonna want to rev this engine out to all the way to six to eight thousand, nine thousand RPM. That's a rev line right there. Um, that's where this bike wants to be happy at. I was kind of um, babying it a bit these last few days, but today we're gonna take it out. We're gonna really rev it out and uh, show you guys how she really, really performs. So when it comes to performance, it's a fun bike. Um, definitely a type of bike that you're gonna want to rip around. Uh, really good for uh, your daily commuting if you're gonna if you don't work too far or if you're gonna be just cruising around town um, it's really really perfect for that very small so it's gonna be weighing a bit over 540 pounds wet uh, which is not crazy um, and it feels really light so once you get on the bike it feels really really nimble especially on the road but even moving around here in the garage I feel very very um, comfortable just moving the bike around very easy um, it feels great it has a very low seat height as well, so like I was mentioning before, uh, for you shorter riders, you're gonna be really happy on here. Even you taller riders out here though, the fact that you have four controls on here, now mid controls, you're not gonna feel too cramped up, so it does feel really comfortable. So let's talk about this gas tank real quick. You're gonna have a 3.3 
uh, gallon gas tank on here. I see why they wouldn't want to put a bigger gas tank on here because it's going to mess up with the lines, but a bigger gas tank, it's just, it's a small bike. You don't want to put too much of a big um, gas tank on there. It's just going to throw everything off and look not proportioned. Um, and it's all right. I mean, 3.3, you're going to be pulling over every hundred and something miles and you get to stretch out your legs. Um, it, this is not the bike you're going to want for, you know, cross country. And I know some of you guys right now, well, I've done it. I've done it. And it's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do it, but preferably you would want something different. Um, and if you're in the Indian realm, you know, a, a chieftain or a challenger, that's something you want to use for, for that. This bike is not really meant for those cross country trips. Um, but yeah, I mean, the gas tank is well proportioned to the bike. Um, you're going to have a USB port right here in the neck, uh, which is pretty cool. You can connect your phone, your devices you have, your analog right here. You're not going to have that digital analog that you're going to have on the uh, Chief. I'm not sure why they didn't put the digital analog on this one. This is very simple. Um, you turn it on and just, you see your basic information on there. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, but once again, I really don't know why Indian kind of didn't put it, I guess because of the other scouts don't have it. Um, maybe this one shouldn't, um, but maybe for future models, we might see that. Um, one thing I didn't like about this is that I feel like they kind of cheaped out on the headlight. Like Indian, you guys make a really, really nice headlight, an LED headlight, and it's not on here. So we got a halogen uh, headlight on here, but we got LED turn signals front and rear, which is a little confusing. Um, but yeah, Indian, let, let, let's get that LED headlamp in the front. It looks really nice, really well designed, and actually lights up the night really good. Um, so I feel like they're kind of cheap down there. So let's put that on there, Indian. Um, you got that bobbed out fender in the back, really nice. It looks really, really short, especially when you're on the road riding. It looks really badass on the back. You got that exposed tire in the back. Nice little height in the back as well, so you're able to see everything. You got that dual exhaust right here. Doesn't sound too crazy. It is an ex uh, a stock exhaust, but I'm pretty sure that this bike with an aftermarket exhaust will sound amazing. I think when it comes to the looks, that pretty much covers everything. Let's get on the road and let's finish this review. Give you guys a nice little walk around first. I really like the way the radiator here is hidden. Um, it looks like it's just like part of the frame. It's just in there. I like that. Now, this bike does look very familiar to the Victory Octane. Has a lot of, you just look at this bike and be like, whoa, that's kind of like an Octane right there. Turning on, it's very easy. This bike is very minimalistic. So you got your on and off button here, power button there, low beam, high beam here, turn signals, punch in for dual, on the horn. Um, so turn it on. Now I gotta say, that's something I really don't like about this bike is the mirrors. I, I'm not a fan of the mirrors. I don't like where they're positioned at. I don't like the the low visibility they have. It's just weird to angle them to see exactly what you want to see. It just feels really, really weird. Now, like I said before, this bike, it's a liquid-cooled engine. This bike wants to be revved out really high. That's where you're going to get the most performance out of it. And that's when it's going to be really, really fun. And like I was saying, for around the town, this bike is really, really fun, really agile. That 19-inch wheel in the front kind of gave us what we wanted from the Scout. Just didn't feel right. That thick, smaller tire in the front didn't feel right at all. I'm a really, really big fan of the design of that fairing in the front looks really really nice kind of reminds me of a nest fairing so i don't know if maybe they they worked something with all the or not but that's what it kind of reminds me of you have no fancy stuff on here as well when it comes to tech it's just a real raw minimalistic bike just a bike that you're going to want to get on and and just go and for your everyday use so no digital analog no um ratty modes um, I know some of the other bikes come with the uh, rear cylinder deactivator. This bike doesn't have that either. Um, and that's it. It's just, it's just a bike that's ready to go. You don't have to worry about anything. It's just get on it and go.
<laughs> I'm surprised that they went with a single disc and not a dual. Uh, but surprisingly, actually, uh, it works pretty well. Yeah, she gets up there pretty quick. For such a small bike, she's definitely packing a lot of power. Really, really fun. Yeah, so the brakes work pretty well. Has a lot of bite to it. Stock sound at idle. Doesn't sound bad. I mean, it's a stock exhaust. <laughs> it doesn't sound the best either, but... Uh, I mean, th these these bikes, especially with these motors, like there's something about Indian that, you know, wh when you do like a stage one on it, they, they they sound great, and even with a stage two, they just sound really, really, really mean. That sound that this, these type of uh, motors produce is just pretty uh, impressive. Now, riding position, like I was saying, is really, really comfortable. Um, I really like the feel of these 10-inch apes. I'm not a and, and I'm not a an ape type of guy type of type of fan. I, I'm more of a T-bar type of guy, man. I mean, me if I had this bike, I'd definitely do like a T-bar setup on here. I'm not sure if you're able to add a bigger windshield in the front. Something I didn't look in the accessory catalog, but let me know down in the comments below if you're able to, because maybe like a taller windshield on here with some T-bars, a two-to-one pipe blacked out nice stage one on this bike even stage two dropping a cam in it um different paint job i mean the, the green is nice but i would like everything to be all one color um a nice headlamp in the front led light uh change out these mirrors i do try to do something else with them and just a few little components here and there change out the grips i mean the stock grips they're actually not that bad they're really not um, you know, change out the uh, foot controls, the foot pegs, put something a bit more comfortable. I mean, these, these are a little thin. I want, I want to kind of, want to feel like I'm placing my feet on something. So these don't feel like the best. Um, but you know, adding some stuff like that, adding, adding some hints of colors on here, like this, this bike will do a, it'll make for a really, really nice build. I mean, Indian, if you're listening, um, if you guys ever want to sponsor the channel somehow and say hey, we're gonna we're, we're here to give you this scout rogue build it out however you want it like it's for you i don't care if it's used you can give me this one <laughs> that'll be great that will be awesome to see what you guys think drop your thoughts and comments down below would you like to see something like that Yeah, <laughs> she gets up there pretty quick, man. Like this bike really wants to be revved out. She really likes it. That that's like her, uh, that's her happy zone. Now, uh, when it comes to lean angle, it is a bit better than the regular Scout, just due to the fact that this bike has that taller wheel on the front. The 19-inch wheel does change that. Um, but with that being said, is it the best lean angle? I mean, no, you are going to be scraping pegs on here. Um, but it's way better than the, uh, the regular Scout. Yeah, I can't see anything of these mirrors. Let's go. Kind of feels at times when you switch. Bike wants to launch you back. Such a little monster. You kind of got to hold on. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's plenty of fun. Man, if, if, if you are out there and you are looking for a, 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 a smaller cruiser, this this is it, man. You guys know I always keep it 100, always keep it 100% on this channel. Whether we like something or whether we don't, I will say it. 
Um, I really like this bike. Um, yeah, Indian, you guys did something really cool here, man. Kudos to you. That's gonna be it. I, I think that pretty much sums the whole review up. If you guys want to know a bit more about this bike, I'm gonna have it for a while in my garage. So drop your questions down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Also make more videos on it. So whatever you guys want to know, drop your thoughts down below. I'm gonna be making a few more videos on this bike. I, I want to continue to ride this bike. Like I actually want to ride it. It's, it's that type of feeling. So there's a lot more content to come. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And thank you. Just thank you for watching because it's because of you that I'm allowed to do stuff like this. Like, Indian reached out to me. They wanted to send this bike out to me. They wanted me to ride it. Give you guys my, my thoughts on it. And, you know, like, thank you. And thank you, Indian. Huge shout out to Indian for, for allowing me to do this. And that's going to be it, guys. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.